Hi, this is Scary Star Being with Scary's Wide World of Mystery. Hi Sagittarius, how are you doing? I'm doing readings right now for no particular reason. <laughs> Just because. Um, I don't want to put a time frame on my readings because then it limits the message, right? So, there is no time frame on this message. Whenever you receive this message is when you are meant to receive this message, okay? Um, this is going to be channeled messages. There may only be a couple of messages in here for you. There may be a lot of messages in here for you. I may channel your story or I may channel somebody else's, alright? But... Regardless, there may be messages in that story for you, right? These readings are for entertainment purposes. Anywho, <laughs> have to keep remembering or trying to remember to leave that disclaimer in so that people uh, keep a balanced perspective when it comes to these readings, right? All right, I'm going to start shuffling. You know, originally I had picked the zombie Daryl tarot deck because it's the one with the most drama and it spills the most tea. Uh, but then the coronavirus thing happened and it's it's very apocalyptic, so it's almost really fitting for this point in time, but I decided to let you know that I didn't choose this deck because of the coronavirus. It just happened. <gasps> it was like I was trying to give myself clues or something. <laughs> I don't know if you do that for yourself. Like, leave clues for yourself. Um. Alright, I have your reading right away. Guys, you want this over with, it feels like. And I don't know exactly what it is, but it doesn't look very happy so far. Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess it could, could have been happy, right? It could have been really happy. That's what I keep hearing. It could have been really happy. Okay. <sighs> look at this this guy, um, he looks really happy, right? <laughs> but Knight of Cups is sort of, uh, he's like, he, he's wet behind the ears, all right? He's very wet behind the ears, I'm hearing. Um, he doesn't really have, uh, he can surf the waves of his own emotion, but he doesn't really have control over them. Does that make sense? His feelings are bigger than he can handle, <laughs> per se. <laughs> uh, yeah. It feels like somebody's, like, trying, hoping that they can logic out their feelings. Make sense of their feelings, right? Because they don't understand them. And let me mention, I decided to mention Knight of Cups is water, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, right? So... The emotional realm. Water. We were just in Pisces season, so... Maybe it really unearthed a lot of trauma for you. Or grief that you had not expressed yet. Maybe you had unexpressed grief, it feels like, okay? Mm. I'm also getting for some of you that uh, you might want to be aware of who's creeping, I'm hearing. <laughs> this guy looks like a creeper. Anyway, uh, try to be aware of who's, uh, who's around you. I'm trying to get the message to come up. I'm reading the energy, guys. Um, this isn't actual words, it's a feeling. So I'm translating it. Uh, yeah, it's like mourning over a lost thing. I don't know. 
feels like it. Like, this could be like a widow, right? And there's her husband looking down on her from heaven, right? <laughs> that could make the guy a little less creepy um, in that scenario. I don't know. I just get a w weird vibe for from it for some reason, but that's just me. Um... <laughs> All right, come on. Stay. Okay. I can't get that card to stay up. Sorry, guys. I tried. We have King of Wands, so fire sign energy. And so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We're in Aries season right now. King of Wands. Um, the greater of the three, uh, the oldest, the most mature, the most, um, established fire sign, right? So Sagittarius. What I'm really seeing is that you really do have everything that you need in order to overcome these emotions all right and where however they're coming through you and to you um passion is emotion and passion is fire right so think about it you guys have when you guys feel you guys feel big all right there's nothing small about the way a sagittarius feels uh <laughs> But for the last card, we have the Hermit, all right? You know what I'm really getting? Maybe some of you are really not liking quarantine right now. <laughs> Maybe some of you are not liking it up until this moment, right, of the Hermit. Because this person looks completely contented to be with themselves. All right, like they don't have a care in the world and they don't even notice all of the creepers. <laughs> creepy guys, that's creepy. Anyway, um, we're already going through the zombie apocalypse, right, Sagittarius? You've seen the zombies on uh, the internet, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah. This is interesting times we're in. Hermit. A lot of people say that this is um, the Virgo card, but I think it can also be Sagittarius because Sagittarius will also um, take time to deeply self-reflect when they're when necessary, right? But you guys are also very extroverted. You guys really like to. Um, socialize a lot I guess I am not like that so I was not built that way I've got I've got uh, full on characters and stories inside of my own mind that I'm exploring but that's neither here nor there I guess you could say that every story is a channeled reality right but I'm looking at the time on the clock for some reason. It keeps popping out at me. I'm going to try to read time the old-fashioned way without my glasses, okay? It looks like it's in between the 1 and 2, so it's 1.20-something, okay? Because it's not quite on the 6, so that would be one thirty, right? So it's like one twenty-seven or some shit. 127. Maybe that's a significant number for you for some reason. Maybe it's a date that something significant happened for you. I don't know. I would Google the meaning of that number just in case. But this has been a very interesting channeled message. Uh, I'm going to have to come back and watch it later because... I don't know if it necessarily made any real linear sense to me, all right? It felt like it was uh, sort of 
message upon message, not a flowing story. Anyway, that happens sometimes. Um, as always, I love your faces. I hope you are all doing well. Try to stay away from people. Don't You don't have to stay inside, but stay away from people, guys. Um, go out into the country where nobody is usually and uh, pee in the woods. I don't know. Just saying. I mean, there's stuff that you can still go do at this moment in time, so unless, of course, you're on complete lockdown, then if that's the case, my condolences. Um, I hope that they I hope that they uh, come to a solution to this uh, whole coronavirus thing. Um, it's doing its thing, though, so, you know, regardless of whether or not you think it's serious or not serious, it, it it's serving its purpose, right? Okay. Okay, okay, I mean it this time. Goodbye, guys. I just love talking to you. Anyway... <laughs> You guys are, are some of the most fun people to have philosophical conversations with. But, uh, yeah, um, I guess I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.